Today we're going to learn about partial fractions. Let's say you have to solve the integral of 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3 dx. So as you can see, we don't really know how to solve this integrand here. So, let's just write this integrand off to the side. We write it as 1. It is 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, how do we solve this integral? Well, we know that we can't split up the numerator because it's just 1. And we don't know how to split up the denominator. So, we can't really solve it, right? Well, there is a way to split up the denominator to get two different fractions. And this is called partial fractions. So, let's first try and see if we can factor the denominator and write this in another way. So, we get 1 over the factorization of this denominator would be x plus 3 times x minus 1. So, now let's try and split this fraction up. So we get 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. It's equal to a over x plus 3 plus b over x minus 1. So now what do we do next? Well, let's multiply all of the terms by this denominator here. So, this way we get 1 is equal to a times x minus 1 plus b times x plus 3. So, look how we got that. We know that this is written in, an, so we know that x squared plus 2x minus 3 is written as x plus 3 times x minus 1. So this term, this term here, multiplied by this factor, would mean that x plus 3 cancels out, and we're left with a times a times x plus 1. In the case of this term here, x minus 1 and x minus 1 will cancel out, leaving us with x plus 3 and b as our factors. So now let's expand this. When we expand it, we get 1 is equal to ax minus a plus bx plus 3b. So now let's group this together, and we get 1 is equal to x times a plus b minus a plus 3b. So now let's rewrite this up here, but we're going to add something else in there. So we know this left side is equal to 1. So this left side would also be equal to 0x plus 1 which is equal to x times a plus b minus a plus 3b. So take a moment to see how we got there. So now let's set up a system of equations to solve for a and b. So we know that something times x is equal to 0x. So that means that this something has to be equal to 0. So that means that 0 is equal to a plus b. So that's our first system. Now we also know that something has to equal to the constant 1. Let's write this on the bottom. So we know that 1 has to equal the constant on the right side. The constant on the right side is negative a plus 3b. So that means that 1 is equal to negative a plus 3b. So take a moment to see how we got these two systems. The next step is to solve these systems for a and b. So here we can get b From taking from here, we can get b is equal to 0 minus a, which is negative a. So b is equal to negative a. Now, as you can see over here, we have already negative a. 
So instead of negative a, let's plug in b, so then we get this whole right side in terms of b. So we get 1 is equal to b plus 3b, which is equal to 1 fourth. So, or sorry, so that means that b is equal to 1 fourth. Now, we also know that 1 fourth, which is now b, plus a has to be equal to 0 meaning that a is equal to negative one-fourth. So, let's rewrite these fractions. And take a moment to go over this, because now I will erase some parts. Okay, so if you didn't go get it all, you can pause the video right here and then look at it, or rewind. But now I'm going to erase this part. So we know that b is equal to 1 fourth and a is equal to negative 1 fourth. So what do we do with these values? Well, oh, so before we had the two fractions as a over x plus 3, x plus 3, and the other fraction as b over x minus 1. So now what do we do here? Well, so now we just have to plug in the values of a and b into these equations. So we get this is equal to negative 1 fourth over x plus 3 plus 1 fourth over x minus 1, which is equal to, so if we combine these fractions, we get negative 1 over 4x plus 12. Or before we even do that, let's write, these into, let's write this in the integral form. So we know this is equal to the original integrand of... This is equal to the original integrand of x squared plus 2x minus 3. x squared plus 2x minus 3. So this is equal to, this integral is equal to, let's write this in red, this is equal to the integral of 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth, times 1 over x plus 3, So we're just taking the constant out of the equation, or out of the fraction, plus 1 fourth times 1 over x plus 1. So this would be equal to the negative 1 fourth of the integral of 1 over x plus 3. This is just this integral, plus one-fourth of the integral 1 over x plus 1. And here's dx and dx. So now let's just solve these integrals, and we get this is equal to negative one-fourth, the natural log of absolute value of x plus 3, plus one-fourth natural log the absolute value of x plus one. And we can combine these, but we're not going to do that in this video. And keep in mind that these are the absolute values of x plus three and x plus one. Sorry, it should be x minus one. Because over here in the original fraction, we had x minus 1. So, the answer to this problem is negative 1 fourth, the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 3, plus 1 fourth, the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1. 
So, today we learned about partial fractions and calculus. Thank you for watching this video.